So today we're going to discuss the regenerative capability of the body to heal. So we're going to talk about something called PRP, plasma rich protein, and peptides. Hey everybody, Josiah Smith, PA, expert at all things functional, regenerative, and health optimization medicine. And today I have a special guest with us, Lucas. Say hi, Lucas. What's up, Josiah? Hi, guys. <laughs> So Lucas is going to, well, first of all, what we're going to do, he's had some shoulder issues going on for a while now. Is that correct? Probably a few months. A yeah. couple months. And can yeah. you tell everyone what's going on with your shoulders? Sure. So, man, just for a few months, I've been getting some, just some really bad anterior pain in the fronts of my shoulders. Um, it doesn't feel like it's in the joint itself. Uh, and it's just been getting worse over time. I've had some massage therapy and some stretching on it. Uh, and it's still... And it's affecting my work. I'm a chiropractor. He's a chiropractor, so and he has to use his yeah. upper body and your arms. And several weeks ago, we did a preliminary injection with some lidocaine and homeopathic medicine called Tremil. And did that provide a short-term benefit with reduction of the pain and the inflammation? It, it did. It did. Short-term, yeah. Short-term. Yeah. So today we're going to discuss the regenerative capability of the body to heal. So we're going to talk about something called PRP, plasma rich protein, and peptides. We have a peptide protocol that we're going to utilize with Lucas in the healing, repair, recovery off his shoulders and it'll have a universal effect on his body too so the first thing just so you do see we already did all the prep work so we drew some blood we spun it down the plasma rich protein and we drew it up in a syringe so this is super concentrated plasma rich protein and plasma poor protein and we've already prepped his shoulder we'll put some numbing medicine and we'll inject right into the intraarticular joint now what is going to happen those platelets are very healing they are going to attract growth factors stem cells collagen to that area so over a period of 90 days there will be healing and that's going to be very helpful but we're going to supercharge this with peptides so he actually has a protocol as a base for this. So the first thing we are going to give him is something called CJC ipamorelin. This is a human growth hormone peptide. It's a combination of two and it's all about cellular efficiency. So human growth hormone does decline with age. And when we utilize this, this will help upregulate the healing mechanisms in his body. So it's going to accentuate and mitigate any issues that you may have with the shoulder. Not only there, it's gonna help with lean body muscle mass, sleep, collagen production, all of these things. And we have a couple other peptides we're utilizing. There's something called BPC-157. This is a gastric peptide, but it's been shown to do some amazing things with healing, repair, recovery, not only with the GI, but there's a neuro, uh, it's neuroprotective. It helps with other neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, but in Lucas's case, it's going to help with the healing, repair, and recovery. And finally, we have a 20-day protocol added to this with something called thymosin beta-4. So this is a thymic peptide, and it is not only going to help with his immune system, but it's going to help mitigate and attract and almost home to that area of where you've had uh, the injury and where we actually put the PRP. So because we are creating an inflammatory response, it will travel to that area and also accentuate the stem cells and the ligament, the collagen, healing, repair, and recovery. So this will help you ultimately heal like Wolverine. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right. So we're actually going to demonstrate the actual injection. So we actually did an anatomical landmarks. We cleaned it and we're using a topical numbing spray called ethyl chloride. And this is just topically. It's cold. Real cold. Real cold. And we actually mix the PRP with a little homeopathic injectable medication called Tremil. So it helped decrease the post inflammatory response. Okay, my friend, are you ready? Mm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. And it should slide in there. Nice and easy. Yeah. Are you feeling that, brother? I feel it. He feels I it. I feel it. 
It's going in nice and smooth. And this will have a nice fanning effect, not only in the joint capsule, but also surrounding the ligaments, the rotator cuff muscles that actually attach. Good. So there we have it. All right, guys, till next time, we'll talk to you soon.